Tim Mufford in Brixton. Amazing scenes there last night. Um, the film director Tim Pope worked with David Bowie for 15 years, directing several of his music videos and some of his concerts. And he joins us now from our Brighton studio. A morning to you. Um, so many people remembering him so Good fondly. Morning. And what would be your best memory? Probably the laughter, actually. We just used to laugh an awful amount. And uh, I just remember his sort of rather cigarette-y, raucous laughter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just had this brilliant laugh, infectious laugh. So always a lot of laughter around him. You, uh, you met him through a connection with, with Iggy Pop uh, and by uh, trading insults. Yeah. I don't really want you to re <laughs> repeat those insults this time of day, but tell us roughly what happened. I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> Well, I was at Iggy's house, as you, as you are, I was at Iggy's house in New York and I, I'd started to work with him. And he said to me, we're going out for the evening. And I was like, OK. He said, I've got a couple of friends standing around. Cut to us, we go and see this band called X. Uh, cut to us a little bit later and I'm sitting there. Suddenly I look over and there's Mick Jagger and David Bowie. So I'd never met Bowie before, but having been a huge teenage fan of his. And uh, so we all end up going to this restaurant later on. And uh, I was sitting next to Iggy, as you, as you do. There was Iggy Pop, there's David Bowie and Mick Jagger, and we're it's Sean Penn, and we're sitting around this table. And uh, Iggy goes off to the loo or whatever. Suddenly I'm sat next to David Bowie, who I'd never met, met before. As I say, he was a huge teenage fan of his. And he turns to me, his first words to me were, Tim Pope, you're a funny little... <coughs> I, won't, I won't use the word. And I said, yeah, David Bowie, you're a complete... I, I wouldn't... I'd use that word even less. But that was the start of a very beautiful relationship, which went on for, uh, well, for 15 years, really. Oh, he sounds just great fun to be with. Um, and I love that. I'm not sure we've had such good name dropping on breakfast for no, quite no, a while, no, actually. <laughs> um, so you went, went on to work with him. Oh, there you go. I did my no, best. no, it's lovely. You went on to work with him and directing him. What was he like to direct? Very, very malleable. Wanted to be actually directed. I tell you what, the best thing I ever did with him was actually probably his 50th birthday concert um, show at Madison Square Gardens, where he actually got me to go on and introduce the show. So I went on. I'm from North London, and I went on. And I said, I'm from Enfield. I don't think anyone in New York knew where Enfield was, and he's, <laughs> he's from uh, he's from Bromley. So I went on and introduced the show, and then ran down the stairs and directed the show. But I'd spent the previous six weeks together with him, putting the show together. And he said, I want you to be my eyes and ears on this. So I actually, it was amazing. So I ended up in rooms like, well, because I was a huge fan of Lou Reed and David Bowie as well. So I'm going to drop some more names here. <laughs> so I ended up in a room as big as this studio I'm in now with them um, singing songs like Queen Bitch. And I just couldn't believe it. If my 15-year-old self had been able to see me actually, uh, you know, you know, I've got David Bowie and Lou Reed. I always remember, because you can't see him, apparently my eyes are quite sunken, but I, I just remember this moment where they'd come out and uh, they'd sung like waiting for my man and such like and they come out to me and I've got David Bowie in front of me here and he goes look look Lou he's got he's got he's got a dodgy eye I said well I'm not the only person with a dodgy eye around here and then I've got this frozen moment in my mind of like David here with Lou Reed looking like a Tyrannosaurus Rex looking into my face like checking my eyes out which was yeah. great <laughs> because but he was always you know what a laugh yeah. I mean that's that's what I'm rem remembering I mean I feel probably like everyone else. I, 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 I don't, I'm, in a way, I'm sure I'm not actually lamenting for the person I actually knew, but in a way, I'm lamenting, I think, for my own teenage years. You know, I'm lamenting for putting that makeup on, which we all did. I thought I looked like David Bowie. Well, as you can see, I can't, until he <laughs> told me, you don't look like me. He said I look like, he said I look like this comedian called Emo Phillips or something, because I was very tall and angular. And, yeah. uh, and, and uh, I was working pencil in those days. And he, you know, so to be yeah. told by David Bowie, you don't look like David Bowie was but pretty awful. Directing his, <laughs> directing, directing his, his concerts, well, they weren't concerts, were they? They were more like theatrical productions. He was amazing. I just remember this moment as well. You're absolutely right. And he was so in control of stuff. I don't know. You're pro you probably sound... I don't, I don't want to be rude here, but um, Michael Benteen's Potty Time. Do you remember that on the BBC? It was this show which had this cardboard set with these little characters. And one night, I found myself in Philip Glass's studio in New York with David. And he had this little cardboard theatre, like this size, with, with these... Um, and he had this little cardboard cutout himself, right? And we're planning the opening of the show. And I was hand-holding a projector like this with with, um, some old footage of him playing and then and, and then we had ground control to Major Tom so David had a torch in his mouth um, and he said right this is me and then I said right <laughs> I, I played the music and it's ground control so I start singing the song and he's singing in harmony and we're, we're like and he couldn't even remember the words so I had to tell him words now ground control to Major Tom so we're, <laughs> we're doing we're planning out the entire show so yes everything was completely planned out and it was amazing because he had such a vision and was just such a hard worker just yeah. like he would just go out 
at it, it had to be perfect, you know. But I just always remember this moment when I was yeah. in this studio. It was just such a laugh, you know. Him with a torch in his mouth, sort of, that's my, that's my spotlight, you know. Oh. And then we went on and did the show in front of 25,000 people. You Tim, know, amazing. Uh, Marvellous talk Yeah, we've to really you. got Fantastic a sense memories. of what Thank he's so like, much. Really we? appreciate it. Thank you. Tim Pope. Thank you. Lovely. Well, I've heard everyone else talking <laughs> and I wanted a sense of him. Yeah. You know. oh. No, you gave it to us. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. He sounds such fun to be with. Thanks, mm -hmm. Tim. It's uh, one minute past nine.